Hey, and now? And now for something completely different. You know, uh, I don't have a, a new or old science fiction kit, or I'm going to show you. I'm going to do some airplane kits. I dig airplanes. I, you know, I got some airplane videos on this channel. Check it out. And uh, we're going to look at these two kits. This one came out a while ago. Uh, let's see, when does it say it came out? Uh, 1993. And this is the 2001 kit. So what's the difference with these? Let's take a look at what is the difference of these. And, you know, I said still different. I'm having another art show going on. It's an airplane stuff. You can check out my stuff at BAA Arts uh, Facebook. And then you can also check out Bruce Bialik Arts on you could also check out Bruce Bialik Arts Instagram and also on Fine Art America, Bruce Bialik, and then BruceBialik.com. Anyway, so let's go and open it. Okay, first off the bat, we're going to look at this older Academy Minecraft. And uh, we got the other Minecraft. Uh, look at this box art. And not a real lot of art, just basic back. And here we go. Here's the fuselage. fuselage, fuselage. Directions. We shall look at the directions. Not a real lot, looks like. Uh, you could do some flap work and stuff like that. Now you could, you know, the Hound Dog missile, well, we'll talk about it a little bit more. There's Skybolt and stuff like that. Uh, come on them separately if you want to do that. So let's open up this. this is, I know this is, right off the bat, I know this is a major difference between the, that kit and the other kit is the weapon systems. And the most prominent weapon system of them all is the Hound Dog. And here you see, here's the hound dog, nothing but a hound dog. So these uh, later became the GAM 77A, and then, then they were redesigned as the AGM 28A. Uh, they had a speed of Mach 2.1. In the SAC inventory, they had like 600 of them, and they retired them in 1976, and they were nuclear. I guess we didn't have to ever use them. But everything's really clean. This is an older kit, but I don't see any flash. Not an incredible amount of detail on the hound dog. Wheels are okay. Yeah, you got that screw. Here's the tail, mounted in green. And there's a very big difference, I know, between this tail and, uh, and the other kit. decals for the older kit and it looks like there's a little bit of discolorization going on on these decals already not a real lot of stuff going on there so here is the body If 
fuselage. To the fuselage. This green is really not easy to film. I mean, that's pretty basic. Engines. Now the H model, and this is an H model, but the H model is supposed, supposed to have uh, TF33 P3 turbofan engines. But this thing is so small. I mean, you don't even see the engines, you just see the SLs. There's a big ass fuel tanks. If you ever go to Wright Patterson Air, Air Force Base, you'll see a P 52 with those gigantic fuel tanks. I mean, they're just humongous. You see them up close, it's just unbelievable. So let's take a look at the wings. You could looks like position the slats and flaps and all that flaps. Wing ain't bad. at that and here's the glass here's the cockpit and you're not going to be able to really see anything in this cockpit there's really nothing for it uh, and here we go I bought this today Chicagoland Hobby they're on uh, Northwest Highway in Illinois really nice place they got a lot of a lot of aircraft, or a lot of model kits, slot cars, but lots of model kits. Looks like some digital art. Nicely built up there. Paint guide. There we go. I cut this open already. right off the bat that's a big difference that is night and day i mean wow academy model kits have really been stepping up their game in the last few years and just opening up this kit I'm very surprised. I didn't expect to see this much detail. All right, look inside that bomb bay. That detail. And you know, it's like, we'll look and see how big this gets, but wow. All the like ECM antennas and wow. And there's even a nice little cockpit in this thing, really. You, you won't really be able to see in there when you build it up. The door is, wow. Looks like there's a few ejector pins showing there. There's. I don't think that's anywhere that you'll see. So, wow, that is really nice. 
Look at the, the engines, wow. I am impressed by this kit. And these landing bay doors, nice. Now they produced 744 B-52s and 102 of them were the H models. The most they built of any model was the, the G. They built uh, like 193. Wow, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's, that's impressive. And uh, the first flight of a B-52H was 1960. And the last one to come off the assembly line was 1962. And they plan on re-engineering these. See what happens if General Electric or Pratt & Whitney or, or Rolls-Royce gets a contract for them. But wow. Wow. Even the wheels, I mean, I, you know, this is like the nicest academy kit I think I've ever seen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This should be the same stuff. Now we'll get to the, the real meat and potatoes of this kit. And yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I think, you know, this is the ECM equipment here. I think it is. I'm not absolutely certain. The books that I have are really old on the B-52. So it, my books don't have any, like there's communication stuff, I think satellite stuff on top of here. That's not on the, of the older models, and what the, the upgraded ones. I mean, they've upgraded these birds so many times, but yeah, that is, I, 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 it's incredible. They are like the same length. Um, you know, it's, I'm guessing this B-52 here that's probably got the Vulcan M61 or something like that, uh, 1,200 round per minute guns on the back with very little bit of uh, ECM equipment and stuff like that on, on, on this year's model. This B-52 doesn't have any guns on the back. Just all kinds of crazy electronic stuff. But, yeah, there's much more. I mean, I, I, it's really hard to see with the, the, with the green, but there is more detail. There's no wrinkling or anything like that, unfortunately. Even the, the bigger B-52 kits I've seen, you don't see any of it. Big-ass fuel tanks. Now I'll get to the wings, and, and again, <laughs> if you were ever thinking about buying, or like, I don't need that kit, because it's, I mean, these are bigger, looks like that will go into the fuselage much better. But if you were ever thinking about changing up and going, with the old kit and not buying this kit. Well, I think you have to buy this kit. If you're a B-52 fan and you want to, you know, build something this scale, it's a good scale. I mean, this thing's still pretty big when it comes on out. But, uh, yeah, it's impressive. Everything about this kit blows away that other kit. Blows it away. And 
here's the directions the directions the directions blow the other kid away Look at all the parts of the engine you get. In the other kit, you don't, you don't get any of that. You get the fans and just salad in, you know, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if there's masking set in here, but it says masking tape. I guess you use that to cut it out. Really nice little diagram where you put the decals on. Oh, and you got your... You could make different airplanes out of it, so there's a lot of different uh, decals in this set. And let's look at the decals. Yeah. Really nice. There's some really tiny ones, and I, I'm thinking that they really do say something. They might not. I mean, that's really tiny. And, and how they feel, they feel pretty good. Oh, there's the, there's the masking set for the windows, I believe. Yeah, they not you don't feel anything on top of them, and then there's some really tiny decals. But yeah, that is that is the new kit from Academy, and <laughs> I would never ever go and buy that old kit. Um, if you see it out there and you see it for like ten bucks or something like that, yeah, go for it on eBay. Um, I paid forty-seven dollars for the new kit. And what I can see, it is they've knocked it out of the, out of the park. So out of eleven, why? These come to eleven. I give that academy kit. I got to give it an eleven. I mean, it's outstanding, and for the size and everything else like that, and for the price. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed, and I'm guessing that it goes together really well. The old kit, you know, I'm going to give it a, like a six or something like that, because why get that? I mean, if you want the Hound Dog Missile, maybe, but it's a, or a little bit of older generation with the Gatlin gun, you could probably make a pretty solid kit out of it, but this kit is, boy, it's nice. Anyway, thanks, like and subscribe, and... Um, you know, all that good stuff. Thanks. <laughs>